199 to enter. Best of luck. Now, how fit are Irish children? Well, a recent report, <laughs> you're fit, are you? A recent report from, oh, don't touch the hair, oh, from Dublin City University found that a quarter of Irish primary school pupils don't run correctly and half don't know how to kick a ball. So how can we improve the general fitness of our children? I'm joined now by Sarah Gillespie from Rinka Fitness, who's some uh, child-friendly exercises for your little ones to, uh, that you can do at home this morning. Good morning to Good you. Good morning. I saw this and I was going, how can a child not know how to run properly? Because, I mean, you're just assuming that every child knows how to run. And once upon a time, it was one of those things that they just knew how to do. Because children engaged in free play, they went outside and they didn't come home till dark, like we were Yeah, like well, I was, like, we went down to summer holidays especially. You came Nine home in the morning hungry. and we came home when we were hungry, yeah. yeah. And that's just not the way anymore. And children aren't even at school. A lot of schools have no running policies. Um, kids in the yard, yeah. Yeah, in the yard, yeah. they're not getting outside. And so when you say can't run properly, what are, the, what are they doing when they're running? They don't have the mechanics. They don't have the coordination. The coordination. So are they literally falling, falling over? Falling over. They don't have the ability to move opposing arms and legs. They don't have the correct posture. They don't have the fitness levels to run. I, I just find that amazing. And like half, half of them don't know how to kick the ball because they wouldn't, it's not and, part of... Exactly. Your daily thing exactly. anymore. It's not, it's not normal anymore. So what we're seeing is kids that are very interested in football or in sports and are that way inclined, there's loads of exposure for them. It's for the children that aren't interested in mainstream sports that are really falling behind. And you and Rinka are sort of saying that you're seeing so much of this when the, when the children come into you. And you're sort of saying you're seeing a lot more of obesity as well in children. Huge. It's absolutely frightening. And any time I talk to people, they always ask me, Sarah, is it really as bad as, you know, the media is making it out to be? It absolutely is as bad. And, you know, we've got kids that literally can't make it through this sort of a warm-up. So this is just a warm-up that we're doing here. So what kind of a warm-up are we doing? What we're doing here doing? now is a little stretch that we would do in our classes. So the whole, really what we think needs to change is the emphasis on competition. So you can see these guys here, they're totally unaware of what anybody else is doing. They're all jumping in, they're having a bit of fun, and it's not about being brilliant. So the message really has to be about you know, the benefits that can be gained from fitness. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be brilliant at it. And I mean, obviously, if children start exercising at, as exercising at a young age, it has a benefit for their life. Without a doubt. And it becomes part of their mm -hmm. life. It needs to be made normal that children take part in exercise, not something that they have to try and fit in or something that they're thinking, ugh, I have to do this before I go to bed. It's natural for children to move. Mm -hmm. It's natural for them to play. And it's getting back to that. Focus. And is it because of these things here that I have in my hand? Absolutely. The iPads, the whole TV thing, everything. It's huge. I mean, <laughs> is that your warm up done? My warm up and my stretch. Got here? This is Sandra. So Sandra's our main lady and Rinko with us. Okay, and all, all and all the the little boys and girls. <laughs> These guys are super. They're going to show us how to do some really easy exercises. So this is yeah. You're going to show us how to do some some yeah. some stuff. So what's the first one? Okay, that so we you would guys do? can be okay, behind me. Okay, so we're going to start off with some. Stand behind me. Walks. And the whole thing about animal walks is it actually uses the whole body. But wait till you hear the noise we're going to make. So it's all about having fun. So we're going to start off with bears. What do bears say? Okay, hands up. What does a bear do? <laughs> hands on the ground. And we're going to walk over there nice and slowly. Over we go. Right, let me hear you. Now that's Take a bit of light as bear. That would be the easiest the thing down. to do. And you know what? It's using it all the muscles in the body. Again. Yeah. But they're not aware of that. And that's the point. They're just having fun. They're just having fun with it. Yeah. it so is that, would you have classes up? of like this, uh, five or six, me. or would you have six, much bigger classes? We would take up to about 12 or 13 in a class. 12. Yeah. And they're just doing this. And how long does a class last? About 50 minutes. 50? Yeah. But they must be knackered at the end of it, aren't they? They sleep well that night. Exactly, and that's the aim of it. And in the class, as you see, we teach them as well about how their muscles work. Mm. We teach them why they need to drink water. So it's educating them and starting, starting them from this size, and then they know why they need to So what them. ages do you teach? We start them at three. Three? Three. And people think that they're, you know, far too young. They're so capable at that age, and they have no fear. So by the time they're five, 
They've been attending fitness classes for two years. Can I sort of say, so when do you, when you have children when they arrive at you, would you see them when you're asking them to run around that they are just falling over, that they can't, co they coordination is just not there? Not at all. Obviously, we're not talking about every single child. No, yeah. But we are talking about the majority. Wow. And we would have kids, now, we put out hula hoops. What we're going to use here, we've brought equipment that's really easy for parents to use at home. Yeah. We're going to work on jumping in and out of this hula hoop. Jumping is one of our fundamental movement skills. The amount of them that can't jump with their two feet together. Well, what would they do? They'd put, they'd go for one or two. One or yeah. the other. So and it's that coordination. And it's only a matter of giving them a chance to practice. It's giving them exposure to be able to do these sort of things. And a hula hoop costs five euro in Smiths. Yeah. So these are the sort of things that they should be doing every year. Or you can make up a little thing yourself at home and just go, you have to jump over that jump and jump over back that in. Time. Go and yeah. build forts in the sitting room. Yeah. You can tidy it up afterwards. So it's just simple, small little things like this and techniques like this Absolutely. that are so important. And they love the challenge. You see, this is the thing. They're not even aware right now of how many muscles they're using. Mm. Like their upper body strength, their core strength, their coordination. And all they're doing is going to jump and they're going to say in, out, in, out. And we're going to do it 10 times and we're going to see who can do it the fastest. And, and you you have about over 3,000 nationwide children, yeah. which is amazing. Then. It's That's, been phenomenal. Yeah. But the feedback we're getting from parents and the reason it is growing is because it's just for fun. Mm. So the kids come in for 50 minutes, they're learning all these little skills and techniques, but we put a massive emphasis on building their confidence. And what about the ball then? Because I found this incredible that 50% couldn't kick the ball properly. Well, I suppose if you've never tried it, why would you? Do it. If you've never gone out and played with a ball on a field. And this is it. It's not a skill that you're born able to do. You have to learn it. And if you're not given the opportunity to learn, mm. it doesn't just appear. So what, what kind of skill do you what do you do here? Is well, it going through? Well, what we're going to do now, we're going to do some throwing and catching. Oh, throwing and just catching. Just really simple. We're going to go overhead and underhand. So Eamon's going to throw it right over to Sandra. Good work. Can you move to the end of the line? Go you ready, Catherine? Good and girl. Catching. You ready? Catch and throwing and catching. Okay. But that's Throw something it up. that parents can do easily in the back garden for 10 minutes. And you see yeah. the thing about getting their 60 minutes activity that's all coordination then, isn't it? Massively. That's what I mean, you're looking at it. So, especially when you're starting so young like this. Yeah, and this is it. He's getting the chance to do that. And you see, the thing too, I think the parents forget, is this is fun for children. It's bonding time with parents. It's, yeah. This is what they should be doing. Do it against a the wall. They don't need anyone yeah. else to do it with. And what, what floor is lava? What's that? Oh, you're going to see that now in a second. Okay, let's do let's do final one, floor is lava. Oh, we want to see markers. this and then... So we're going to use our floor markers, but you could put down cushions at home. You could put down socks at home. Yeah. Anything to mark the floor. And what we're going to do is use a different variety of locomotive skills. So they're going to hop, they're going to skip, they're going to jump. You have to get back off the floor so you don't burn your feet. Running oh, around, right, so you're pretending it, so you're... It is. Jump! Oh, oh, oh. yeah! <laughs> that was a close one. Okay, on one foot. So let's hop, 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 hop. So you're throwing hop, in loads of different skills change, there now. Hop, hop, they can jump, they can skip, crash, they can crawl, crash, they can run backwards. Hop, hop, but what they're waiting for... And the then they run back, like yeah. Oh! Quick, there's quick your own there. Quick there, there. Good boy. So uh, we have all the details up on our Facebook page. If parents who are watching in this morning want to find out more information, and uh, it's been up on the screen also. Thank you all so much for coming in today. The floor is lava. Floor is lava. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Now coming up next, we're, uh, we've got looks for all the mums and dads. If your little one are making their confirmation or communion, stay tuned for that. Well done, guys. Well done.